protesters hurl Molotov cocktails across a barricade in Cairo. Police fire tear gas back. This, the fourth night of clashes near Tahrir Square, comes after a televised announcement from Egypt's army chief. General Mohammed Hussein Tantawi says the ruling military council will give up power if the people vote for it in a referendum. We are ready to immediately hand over responsibilities and return to our main responsibilities of protecting the nation, if the people wish. And this could be carried out through a national referendum, if the situation would call for one. The military rulers also promise a presidential election by mid-2012 and earlier accepted the resignation of the prime minister's cabinet. But the news does not placate protesters in Tahrir Square. Thousands have massed there in a surge of anger, reminiscent of the movement that toppled former President Hosni Mubarak. We will not leave. We are here until we see changes. But now nothing has changed. We will not be fooled. The previous president attempted to deceive the people, but he failed and finally responded to our demands. The U.S. State Department called the general's statements important reassurances, but spokeswoman Victoria Newland tells reporters the use of excessive force by Egyptian police must end. We condemn the excessive force used by the police, and we strongly urge the Egyptian government to exercise maximum restraint, to discipline its forces, and to protect the universal rights of all Egyptians to peacefully express themselves. The recent violence has killed at least 36 people and wounded more than 1,200. Katherine Jackson, Reuters.